Hi, um, I'm Vicki Vale. I'm a doser for the Wakamatsu Historical Farm. We're at Open Farm Day today. We're having a special day because we have four bus loads of Japanese tourists, um, Japanese American and then some Japanese, here to do special programs. So they're having music and genealogy and some crafts and some special speakers. But um, the tour of the farm on Open Farm Day is just self-tour. There's docents to give you information, but you get to walk around the trails, um, to go to the grave, the house, the lake, the new um, ADA trail we have in the back, um, just to enjoy. He wasn't a He wasn't a I'm Jennifer Dix, and I'm one of the volunteers here from the California Genealogical Society and Library in Oakland. And we are just giving people an introduction to finding their Japanese roots and tracing your ancestry. You can tell them about different websites to look for, procedures to go about to uh, find your family's records, whether they're immigration records or records from Japan. Hello, uh, I'm Herb Tanamoto. I'm the author of Keiko's Kimono. It's a uh, historic fiction about the Wakamatsu Tian Silk Colony and the people who were here in Gold Hill back in 1869 to 1871. So uh, uh, it's a wonderful story, I think, and uh, I hope uh, people find it interesting and, uh, and read it. The proceeds go to the American River Conservancy's Wakamatsu Restoration uh, Fund. This was handmade, um, I think, in Japan. This is regular paper pulp and bits and pieces of mulberry leaves crushed, dried, and created into paper. Directly down the hill, alongside this fence, there is a Wakamatsu monument, and that was installed. Uh, there's a picture of it somewhere, right? When Ronald Reagan came here and installed that on the 100th anniversary in 1969, when he was governor. And that was part of why we wanted to make this, um, to buy this land and open it to the public, um, because that's that's an amazing story. I mean, she was the original pilgrim and stuff. And because we know who so few are, we know Cooney and we know Matso, and there's two that I don't know the name of that went back to Japan and became very successful. One started a canning company, oh. and the I don't know what the other one did, but it was some technology he had learned here. And um, so they're there, and they have, I'm sure they have descendants and all. We just have to find somebody. So if y'all got children and grandchildren in grad school over there, tell them to take us on as a project. We all want right. to we want to know who all those other settlers were. Do you uh, have a connection? Excuse okay. me. I just wondered if you have a connection with Aizu Wakamatsu in Japan. In well, a lot of people, um, a lot of people here have gone back and forth. We yeah. have, um, what is it, People to People? Yes. Does every year, and mo like Melissa's gone. Most of our docents have gone. I have not. Oh. 